you doing YouTube? So a lot of guys in the forums are asking me uh, questions about my DIY cab for the BX25. Anyway, I just thought the video would be a lot easier than a bunch of pictures. Anyway, so let's take a look. So this is it. It's the uh, phase one finished project, I guess. Uh, so yeah, it's, uh, it's a custom cab. Uh, built it out of uh, one inch pine. So yeah, it's built out of wood. Uh, the paint is um, a bed liner paint, uh, the black, the orange is a rust coat uh, paint from uh, from home hardware. Uh, and surprisingly enough, it is actually Kubota orange. We'll take a look at that in a second. So the, the, the glass, the windows, uh, went with safety glass rather than Plexi or Lexan because, uh, you know what, it didn't really add a whole lot of cost and uh, it added a bit more weight than I wanted but uh, I think at the end of the day it'll be uh, a better uh, better product than uh, than the, the Lexan or the Plexi which is going to scratch a lot. I don't have um, I don't have the um, windshield wiper on there yet. I don't have one picked up but uh, that might be a project for the summer. Anyway so the uh, the doors and the uh, and the windshields, the windows I put on with uh, lift-off hinges. Uh, this is a style you'd see uh, on a regular cab that you'd purchase, or uh, let's say on a Jeep. So these windows here, I'll be able to uh, be able to open those windows. I'll probably put a couple of uh, gas shocks on there so that uh, I can open them up a little bit in the in the summer. And the uh, same thing with the doors; they can lift off as well. So I got a couple of hinges there. Uh, the decals were lots of fun. Just printed them off computer and I transferred it to a bit of plastic and uh, and painted them on. So here's the. Uh, see, there's not a whole lot of light in here. I'll just unlatch this. I just got a simple latch there today. So yeah, so these win windows will uh, will open like that. Like I said, I got a couple of gas shocks on there and. Uh, that should do the trick. Or you can take them off uh, completely with those uh, types of hinges. Uh, so let's just uh, go around, I guess, to the other side, which is pretty much just a carbon copy at first. Uh, BX uh, logo there. It's Kubota. And uh, like I said, I still have to get some some handles on here and some door latches for the inside. But for the most part, uh, like I said, this phase of the project is done. So again, it's all made out of uh, one inch pine. And uh, I didn't bother to, to do much sanding because the bed liner paint was going to be going on anyway. So make a whole lot of sense. I'll just come around to the back. So I designed the back so that when the back is on, hopefully uh, this can be an all year round cab. Um, so I made this window same as uh, same as the front. Just put a little latch there, and uh, be able to, that one can open as well. So again, I'll put another gas shock there. So open that up, or like I said, close it to close it up in the in the winter. So I fit the cab pretty snug fit. Uh, it lifts off actually with a. I've got a big eye hook there in the in the roof with a 2,000 pound winch. Overall, I, I would say it's probably a 175 pound cab. I haven't weighed it. Maybe I'll do that in the summer. But like I said, I did a pretty close fit here. I'm going to get some weather stripping and stuff there so it's it's not rubbing on the factory Kubota plastic. Uh, but uh, for now, we'll just leave it like that. So inside, inside I went ahead and did the uh, did a heater <clears throat> in line today. Uh, got this one at Princess Auto. It's a nice little uh, nice little heater. It's 3500 uh, BTU. Uh, so hopefully that'll keep me toasty warm. Maybe not this winter, but uh, next. Um, not much really going on inside. Bit of electrical for some switches. Um, and I'll have my controls back there for the snowblower uh, and some more lights, some emergency lighting. But overall, like I said, it's a pretty snug fit. I went, you can see there, 
give you an idea and notched out for those bolts. It'll give you an idea where it sits. And that cross piece in the back, I can't hold the light in the camera. But anyway, the, uh, the cross piece in the back uh, notched out as well for that. Maybe I can show you from this side. It's a pretty tight fit. There you can see that, maybe in the back. Anyway, so it's uh, it's not touching the rocks. I might have to, depending on if it moves at all, might have to attach it to the rocks, secure it good. Might do that anyway. But uh, overall, I'm happy with how it turned out. The uh, the bed armor paint really does go on and make it look like uh, it's kind of rubberized. Actually, these little pieces you can uh, you can pick them off. They are rubber. So hopefully, it's going to be nice and durable. I'll take you over and show you the paint. So this is stuff right here. It's bed armor. And then the rust coat from, uh, see that? Kubota Orange. Have you ever known? This stuff's about $13 a quart, so it's a lot cheaper than, uh, than the stuff Kubota sells at your local. Anyway, so that's it. That's my DIY. Kubota cab, inspired by others in the forums. I uh, can't take full credit. A um, uh, few mods, um, different than the ones the guys are doing, but for the most part, that's uh, that's it right there. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you've got any questions, by all means, ask away and uh, do what I can to answer.